26-year-old Hashem Al-Ghaili conjures the wonders of science and its phenomena. He's fascinated with everything from physics to molecular biology, and he puts it on his science nature page on Facebook. Every day, he posts hard scientific facts in easily digestible morsels. And at least one video. His short animations are a favorite. And his most popular video has scored a good 150 million hits. It reviews ideas for airplane safety systems. Brief info boxes help explain the subject matter to viewers. People want to stay in touch with the latest breakthroughs in science and technology. And they, they don't just want to stay in touch with that, they want to see it in an engaging and attractive style. And I'm trying through my content sharing strategy to provide them the materials in the simplest way possible. A native Yemeni, Hashem Al-Ghaili came to Bremen on a scholarship to study microbiology in 2013. In his free time, he started creating simple infographics to explain complex scientific ideas. Soon he moved on to producing short videos. He uses science publications as his sources and gets image material from university archives. He provides links to the authors in the comments section beneath the postings. I write a script in a very simplified manner that everybody can understand. And then I collect the visuals that I can use to make the video. And the final video also has a visual storytelling which is why people who do not understand English or people of different ages or have no scientific background can still get the idea. Other websites are also using Facebook to get people interested in science. Short, informative videos are turning up on channels everywhere. The idea is to use the social network to make difficult subjects accessible and to bring science to a larger audience. This is also the aim of the Interactive Science Center in Bremen. This is not look but don't touch, it's hands-on. And that's a big difference to Facebook. Interaction over Facebook is like I watch a video, I give it a like, I comment on it, but I don't interact with the scientific phenomena as such. Hashim Al-Ghaili wants more interaction. He cooperates with other Facebook pages. The more his videos are shared, the more people will see them. He also posts his videos on YouTube and all his content over Instagram, where he's mainly hoping to reach young people. But Facebook is his base of operations. Most of his six million plus fans are from the United States and India. So the reason I chose Facebook is because uh, it's a community that has existed for a long time and there are around 2 billion and plus fans or people who use Facebook and they are from different ages so it's a good chance to reach as many people from different ages and different backgrounds. Hashem Al-Ghali's Facebook success brought him a job offer. Now he's developing the Arabic language version of the Futurism Facebook page. He makes no money from his own page, and he's rejected every offer to run advertising on it. He's afraid going commercial would damage his credibility. He'd rather devote his time and energy to doing what he loves, turning out high-quality science infotainment. Shift says we like Mr. Science and his vids. 